Hey guys, it's your boy French Fry Warrior here, and today, you know the drill. We're here to go over Chapter Three of Wreckers of the Ragnarok Apocalypse. So last we have Ra versus uh, Q, and Ra was literally gonna let this man feel the power of the sun. So right off the bat, we see like he got like that bird armor, and I literally just mentioned last chapter about like. I'm surprised Rod didn't have like a bird form and look what we have here. Little bird armor. What the bird? I think it's coming down. How splendidly extravagant that Lord Rod would be forced to use his divine weapon in the first round. Oh yeah, I forgot it's more like um they're gonna keep like fighting. It's not like one round and done, you know, they're gonna have to keep fighting. Damn, yeah, he's revealing his divine weapon early, but you know, you got it. Just the style. All right, what the? This is a smoke screen. These cheap little tricks stop now. Evidently, there has been a slight misunderstanding on my part. Damn, he's quick. Caught up to him. Regarding what I'm a, what I'm to do in this apocalypse, the answer. Oh, yeah, he took a straight blow to the stomach. That had to hurt. Is pure, unadulterated violence. Yo, he's about that. In this apocalypse, right? Pure unadulterated violence. Yo, this dude's insane. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, like I feel bad for 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 Q now. Like I've been I've been on I've been looking at Reddit and I've been seeing so many people clown this poor man, bro. He's trying, but like he hasn't even touched Rai yet. So I'm like, yo, how is he gonna get out of this? I, I I feel bad. Once again, I would like for Rod to win, but at this point, it feels like overkill. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, this is a shocking development. Just what is this new form? That's Ra. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. How splen how splendidly divine he looks. The fusion of his divine weapon, Horus, and Lord Ra himself, the god of the sun. That form is who okay I guess we gotta say Hora Horakity form Horaki I just forgive me the sun god of the light that's what we'll just call it we'll call it his bird form hey did you see that that attack just now no that's some wicked speed and power that clearly ain't no ordinary armor damn this is like yeah my Adamus form is better. Now's my chance. Maybe it's because of that armor that he had to call off that pesky heat field technique. In which case, I got the drop on him. You want a contest of pure speed and power? You've got it. Whoa, he's still going at it. He is persistent. Yeah, I mean, if I can imagine why he has to take out the field, wearing armor like that and emitting such heat would probably be cooking his body more. I don't think Ra is completely immune to heat, is what I'm trying to say. In contest, do you still not understand? Yo, he just blasted, he just solar beam blasted him basically, or hyper beam. You are no longer even the level on the level contending with me. Was that the prominence field? The divine weapon horse is not a suit of armor. Oh, that's the prominence. It takes tremendous amounts of energy produced by the wave of heat radiating 360 degrees in every direction. The prominence field condensing it together, gives it direction and fires it off locally. Ooh, you're right playing, bro. This is a demigod, he's doing all this. And then Q got need. And so the divine weapon Horus is an amplifier. One which takes Lord's raw power and funnels it all into his attack 
defense and maneuvering. How is Q gonna beat this guy? I swear. If Q beat this if Q beats Rob by just a couple of hits, getting a couple of lucky hits, I'm probably gonna be mad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause Ra is looking insane right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. It it was that same divine weapon which intense at their arrogant which incensed at their arrogance. Ra once used in a lone attempt to obliterate mankind. Even though he was ultimately stopped, it was only by the power of countless gods from heaven. And even they could not prevent Ra from turning much of Egypt into a desert. Yeah, Ra tried to cook us all. What God stopped him though? Thus he is called one of the outer gods. Unstoppable. Yo. Heh. <laughs> yes, so yes, so I, I'm assuming you meant to say the F word. What? Oh, it's now Q going for a blindingly blindly fast surprise attack to all the gods in arena. What they saw could no longer be called a fight. That's what I'm saying right now. Like, Q, you're getting like, you're literally getting cooked. You're literally getting cooked. Rob, God of the Sun, and Q, a demigod. Rob, hurry and kill that guy. Just die, already, demigod. Filthy rat. Oh my gosh. The racism here. The result of their clash was clear in the eyes of everyone. I want to see the next match already. Lord Ra, you did the Sun God proud. You'll win this whole thing. He's making him feel the power of the Sun, bro. This ain't kill him. This seems like a good opportunity. Boy. Wait, yeah, he's really planning to kill him. Let me show you one last thing. That is a truly divine attack. It's over. He punches him in the okay. Flare shift gracefully. He took he's taking all these blows. There's no way. Yet forcefully knocks him down with quality and purpose. Oh, this is a whole attack? Midnight Sun. How long does he plan to keep this up for? Ra, he's strong. He's got strength to back that ego, that grandstanding bastard. I like him. Yo, Ra's looking scary, bro. Uh, this is my first time laying eyes upon it myself. And perhaps I underestimated him a little. Yo, Zeus is like, yo, get me in this ring with this dude. I should hope you continue on up, Ra. Damn, he's getting Zeus approval. Damn you, Zeus, I don't need you order me around. Someday this will be you on the receiving end. Have you learned your lesson, foul demigod? This is divinity. And they're all cheering for Ra. Shit. They make my ears bleed. Every last one of these gods. It was seemed clear now to everyone that this match had come to an end. Now here we go. You're gonna get some power up. Let's see this. Now this takes me back. This is the outer god, the Morigon. Morigon. I hope I'm saying that. Goddess of War. Yeah, the only female fighter so far. The unbelievable. She alone was aware. The tree's alive? That demigod, that demigod Q still had more to him. Y'all, he, <sighs> I can see it now. I can, I can already see it. I can, already, I'm, listen, I'm team Ra. I like Ra. Q's not bad. I feel bad for him, but I like Ra. How much you want to bet he's going to get some insane power up and he's going to just win. I'm not gonna lie, I get I'm getting a little bit of main character like plot armor from him right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. He got beaten the hell up by by 
by midnight, midnight sun, bro. Like, he got blasted with prominent with prominence field. I just, it, I, you know, I I can say a lot of people can tank stuff, but this should be like near impossible. Then again, he's a demigod, so he has some god, I guess, blood in him. So I'm just saying a normal human wouldn't tank this much. I don't I don't know the only human I could think could tank this is maybe like Leo or Adam. Like, I can't think about it that deeply, but those are the only two that come to mind, bro. So it's like, for him to tank all this and still be able to fight raw after, bro, okay. Let's see what this dude got. And that tree of being alive is creepy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But overall, still a fun good chapter. Still a fun good chapter, but that's that's the vibe I get from him. So I guess next chapter we're gonna see how this dude is going to clap Ra, bro. And I still wonder if either of them are gonna die because Ra is really willing to kill for blood, but I don't think he would kill. He seemed like it'll just be to knock someone out and show his power. But outside of that, as I said, good chapter. Can't wait to see what happens next. And I think this round will go on for another two or three chapters. And once that happens, as I said, I'll make a compilation of basically all the chapters together and putting in a more story format for y'all. But anyway, with that out of the way, I'll let y'all go. Stay safe out there and be good people. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.